In the dead of night, just before the clock struck midnight, Simeon woke abruptly to the sight of a sleek, black cat prowling in her room. Terror seized her, and she couldn't comprehend how the feline intruder had gained access to her sanctuary. Before she could make sense of the situation, the cat vanished into thin air, leaving Simeon screaming at the top of her lungs. Once upon a time, in a quaint little village nestled amidst rolling hills and whispering trees, there lived a girl named Simeon. She arrived in the village, her heart brimming with hope and her eyes scanning for a place to call home. As dusk descended, frustration gnawed at Asami's nerves. She wandered through the dimly lit streets, knocking on doors in search of a room to rent. But every house turned her away. Crestfallen, she found herself huddled in a corner, weary and disheartened. Suddenly, a young man noticed her distress and approached with concern. Simeon poured out her woes, expressing her desperation for shelter. Without hesitation, the young man offered her a room. Albeit with a peculiar condition, she must not leave until two years had passed. Desperate for a roof over her head. Simeon agreed, her heart flooded with relief at the prospect of a place to rest. They walked together until they reached an ancient house and nestled in a secluded corner of the village. A chill ran down Simeon's spine as they neared the ominous abode, but with darkness descending, she had no choice but to enter. Inside, they were greeted by an enigmatic old woman whom the young man referred to as Mama. Mama remained silent, leaving the young man to handle the conversation. The room they showed Simeon was surprisingly spacious and inviting, igniting a spark of hope within her weary soul. With a sense of finality, she accepted the key and bid farewell to the young man, now her landlord, as he left her alone to settle in. Exhausted, Simeon collapsed onto her bed succumbing to a deep slumber that enveloped her throughout the night. Despite her fatigue, she rose early the next morning, eager to embark on her first day at the factory. On her way, she encountered Mama Bumi, who inquired about her restful night. Simeon offered a polite smile, but Mama's presence sent shivers down her spine, prompting her to quicken her pace. After a grueling day at the factory, Hunger gnawed at Simeon's stomach. Venturing to the nearby market for sustenance, she was accosted by a frantic young woman who urged her to flee the house immediately. Bewildered and shaken, Simeon returned home, her mind swirling with unanswered questions. As night descended, fear gripped Simeon's heart, rendering sleep elusive. Alone in her room, she grappled with the unsettling events of the day her mind plagued by a growing sense of unease. Struggling through her day at work, Simeon dreaded the thought of returning to her room. After work, she headed straight to the market close to her house to grab some food. But the young man reassured her, dismissing everything as a figment of her imagination. To tell the young man about the strange encounter at the market. However, the young man's interest waned as the hours passed. Simeon returned home still trembling with fear from the events of the previous night. Though she tried to sleep, her mind fixated on the mysterious black cat. She remembered the lullaby her mother had taught her and hummed it softly, seeking solace in the familiar tune. Late that night, Simeon found herself trapped in a terrifying dream. She was being buried alive in the forest, unable to move or scream. Just as she felt the sun's warmth on her face and the earth closing in around her, she jolted awake, her heart racing with fear. Confused and shaken, Simeon sat on her bed, grappling with the unsettling dream and the events that had been unfolding around her. The encounter with the woman at the market haunted her thoughts, and she resolved to find her and uncover the truth. The next morning, 
Simeon set out to locate the mysterious woman, scouring every corner of the village in search of answers. However, the woman was nowhere to be found. As Simeon sat by a local shop, the foul odor emanating from her body repelled everyone around her. A shop owner, unable to bear the stench, approached Simeon and recoiled in horror as she recognized her. Connor, she exclaimed, her voice trembling with pain. Simeon implored the woman to reveal the reason behind her warning to leave the house. With pity in her eyes, the woman, named Inca, revealed a chilling truth. Mama Bumi, their landlady, was a witch who cursed her tenants to death. Shocked and terrified, Simeon asked how Inca knew about this. Inca whispered words of encouragement, advising Simeon to confront Mama Bumi. Trembling with fear, Simeon returned home, pondering Inca's words. As midnight approached, she summoned her courage and devised a plan. At the stroke of midnight, Mama Bumi's spirit transformed into a malevolent black cat. Simeon, prepared with a substance given to her by Inca, sprinkled it on the cat, rendering it powerless. With swift action, she moved Mama Bumi's body, disrupting her spirit's attempt to re-enter it. As Simeon returned to her room, she realized she was finally free from Mama Bumi's grasp. The following day, news of Mama Bumi's mysterious death spread through the village. Her body was buried in the forest, a fitting end for the evil deeds she had committed in her lifetime. A few hours later, almost at midnight, Simeon found herself in her room, her heart pounding in her chest as she scanned the darkness. Her gaze locked onto the silhouette of a sleek black cat, its eyes gleaming in the dim light. Terror gripped her as she struggled to comprehend how the cat had gained entry. Before she could react, the feline vanished into thin air, leaving Simeon screaming in fear.